Now, you can be friends with someone for a lifetime and never know they have a mental illness. 11 News reporter Madison Heap is here to tell us how BYU football icons are speaking up about their mental struggles. It's Mental Health Awareness Week at BYU. The goal is to erase the stigma surrounding mental illness. The campaign director says one way of doing that is getting people to talk. BYU legend Steve Young wrote about his struggle with depression through years of playing football in his recently published book. And he's not the only player opening up. BYU starting quarterback Tanner Mangum posted this picture on Instagram with the caption, I suffer from mild depression and anxiety. I take antidepressants every day to help with my condition, have visits with a counselor, and I'm not ashamed. We have Tanner Mangum here in studio with us to talk about his condition. Tanner, thank you so much for being mm -hmm. here. Thanks for having me. Um, we're so excited to have you. So you've openly acknowledged that you struggle with anxiety and depression and mm -hmm. you've made this big post. What was your intention when you posted the picture? You know, it's been on my mind as of late, just thinking about you know, what I can do to, to help others who, who suffer, who go through the same struggles that I'm going through. And I figured, you know, I can use my platform as, a, as an athlete, as a student athlete, as a football player, to, to reach out and let people know that they're not alone and just to show that you know it can affect anyone that no one is immune and that we can all help each other out and I think that's kind of the main goal is to be able to help erase the stigma let people know that it's okay you know that we're all human that we all go through different struggles and to to fight it together you know it's, it's so much better when we're not ashamed and not afraid to talk about it. Yeah, it's so awesome. And you have such an amazing platform as a football player here at BYU. So, of course, I have to ask about it. Does mm -hmm. your condition at all affect your game on the field? No, it, it doesn't right now. I mean, it, I think is, it affects me in, in, in other aspects of life, you know, in, in other, you know, relationships, school, you know, just the stresses of life can build. And, uh, and just like anyone, you know, we, we have uh, ups and downs and, and good days and bad days. But I think what, uh, what I've noticed, what I've realized is that I've gotten help for it. I've gotten you know, treatment and, and seen a counselor and, and just like, seeing the, the improvement in my life that has come has been, has been huge. So I want others to be able to feel that as well. Yeah. To Why let them, do you, to, sorry, oh, to, oh, no, you're you know, fine. To, to let going. them know that they don't have to, to struggle all the time. You know, they, they can receive help and that they can um, you know, improve their life. Yeah. Well, I mean, you kind of said it's a struggle, right, to deal with it. Um, and it's kind of scary to come out and tell people that you're struggling with something like depression or anxiety. Where did the courage come from to post something like this? You know, I think I'd, I'd, seen, I'd, I'd seen other people talk about it. You know, BYU Mental Health Awareness Week is this week, and other people had been sharing their stories. And, and uh, I'd also taken inspiration from Brandon Marshall, who's an NFL receiver. Uh, he, he has his own mental health awareness foundation. And, and seeing that kind of showed me, you know, I can... I can use my platform for good and use my influence to, to speak up for a good cause. And, and I think seeing others speak out about it showed me that it's okay and that I can, I can join the cause and join, you know, put my voice out there as well and speak up for those who, who maybe not, might not have a voice. Why do you think it's so important to speak up about it? I think it's important because it's, it's, it's way more common than we think. And I think, uh, you know, we're all human and we all go through tough, you know, tough struggles and trials and things like that. And, and why not help each other out? You know, why not come together and, and accept each other for who we are and, and not be afraid to talk about mental illness, not be ashamed of it. I think, you know, there's a stigma that surrounds it and I, I want to be able to help eradicate that and be able to, you know, help people know that we can be comfortable with it and, and love each other and accept each other for who we are. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today and talking about such a sensitive subject. You're such an amazing example in just talking about something like thank this. Thank you. Appreciate it. The mental health awareness campaign is going on throughout the rest of the week and they're encouraging people to post their stories and struggles as a way to come together. Back to you, Michael.